Welcome. In a previous video, I installed a MSATA SSD drive in my Intel NUC, and I have a whole video series on unboxing and putting that together. It was from a couple years ago, and now I'm making some changes to it. So I'll put a link in the description to that playlist. So now what I'm going to do is install Windows on here. I've been running Linux on it, and I put a second hard drive in to run Windows. So the first thing you want to do is go into your BIOS. Um, when you, to do that, you turn it on and hit F2, and this screen will come up. And then I will go and hit F9, which loads the defaults. I'll say, yes, I want to load the defaults. And then I can click on Advanced here and go to Boot. And in Boot Configuration, and I'll uh, turn off Network Boot, because I won't be using that probably ever. I can always turn it back on if I need it later. And then I'll hit F10 to save and exit. And then I'll hit F10 to choose my boot up device. And I have the USB stick that I created in the last video on installing Windows 10. I'll put a link in the description to that too. On installing Windows 10 on a USB stick using a Mac. And I'll hit F10 and I'll choose that. So we'll reboot now and... Okay, so when we hit F10, we'll get this uh, boot drive selection screen, and we want to go down to this SanDisk Extreme, which is my USB drive, and I want the UF, UEFI version, and I'll hit enter, and this will load the Windows uh, installer. Okay, so now we have the Windows installer up. It's going to ask us the language we want to install, and I'm going to choose English. It's going to say the time and currency format, and I'll say English. And it says the keyboard or input method, and I'll choose US, and then I'll hit next. And then I'll hit install now. It says setup is starting. Okay, it's asking me to activate Windows, and I don't have an activation key yet. I'll set that up later. So I'll say I don't have a product key. It'll ask me which version I want to install, and I'm going to do a Windows 10 Home. Uh, another option might be Windows 10 Pro. I don't know. There's lots of different options on here, but uh, Windows 10 Home is probably the most ideal for a home situation. I'll hit Next. And you can read through the license terms here. I'll let you do that on your own computer. I'll hit I Accept the Terms. And then it says upgrade, install Windows, and keep files, settings, and applications, or custom. And I don't have a current install of Windows, so I'm going to choose custom here. And it's going to ask me to choose a partition. So I have drive zero, and this has Linux on it. And one reason I know is it's a 500 um, gigabyte drive. So you can see it has a couple partitions on it. And the one I installed, the MSATA, is like a 250 gigabyte drive, and you lose some of that in formatting, but that's this drive one here. It says 232.9 gigabytes, so I'll choose that drive. I'll hit next, and it says it's copying Windows, so this will probably take a few minutes. Okay, so now that that's done, it's asking us for, to choose a region, and I'm choosing the United States. I'll hit yes. It's asking, asking me about my keyboard layout, and I'm going to choose the default, which is US. It asks if I want to add a second keyboard layout, and I'll say skip. Okay, it's asking me to sign in with Microsoft. I'm going to click offline account on the left here. And it's going to ask me to sign in with Microsoft instead, and I'm going to say no. And it says, who is going to use this PC? And I'll type my name. And it says to create a password. So I'll do that. It's going to ask me to type it again. And it's going to ask security questions. I don't see a way to skip this here. So what was my pet's, first pet's name was Dog.
name of the city where I was born, city, and uh, your childhood nickname, I'll just put my name. <laughs> so you can fill these out however. And it's asking about Cortana, your personal assistant, and I'm going to say no for right now. And now it's talking about privacy settings. So these are settings that, um, you know, talk to the internet, send personal information out. I like to turn these off. Uh, use speech recognition, I'm going to turn that off. Find my device, I'm going to turn that off. If you had a laptop, you'd probably want to keep that on. Hmm. Well, the screen just flashed. I'm not sure why. Huh. I'm not sure why that happened, but I'll turn speech recognition off. I'll turn find my device off. The ink and typing. The ad ID. Location. Diagnostics data. Tailored experience. So I, I'm turning everything off on this privacy setting screen, and then I'll hit accept. Now it's saying, hi, we're getting everything ready for you. Okay, and now we're booted into Windows. It looks like we have the Edge browser up here. And we have the start bar, start menu. We have files here. So that's the basics of setting up Windows on an Intel NUC. Uh, we used a USB uh, drive. I'll put a link in the description to my playlist with other videos on this Intel NUC. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you can like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.